Hello everybody, today I'm here with another sort of team for the Disney Sources Arena and I'm going to be playing as the Aladdin team today. So I hope it also allows me to bring in Jafar because I'd like to get all four of them in here. And then I guess I'll just include, I don't know, maybe I'll include Hero just because he's not too in your face about it and then where do I oh I bet I can only bring in heroes huh so yeah I can't even bring in Jafar well that's kind of sad but if we could bring in her instead she's a little less forward so yeah I guess for now we won't be able to have Jafar on our team but we'll be we will be fighting him I think then I was also gonna try to bring in the Iago spell or any other of these um, Aladdin themed I don't think so for some reason I thought there was another one but I guess not so we'll just bring in Iago and the uh, co co Comet Cosmic Comet is that what it's called I don't know but yeah we'll play through the rest of this event if time permits we will also bring in Jafar for the uh, just some regular battles, I suppose. Maybe we'll go into the grand campaign then. So we can have all four of them. But I have had the characters ready to do this event for a while. I've just kind of been waiting to actually do it. I guess I should have shown you her, her moves. Uh, so just a regular attack, then we've got a bigger attack and a chance to gain haste. And if Jasmine is a teammate, she will assist, which is perfect. Then the carpet deals 2026 damage to target opponent. We've also got the costume on Aladdin for Prince Ali, as well as Genie's costume with the Vacation Genie. Let's do this one and damage the three characters up front here. Jasmine's got the uh, Raja move, which is very helpful. Uh, Genie's got Cosmic Power, 690 damage to target opponent two times. Each hit f deals 50% more damage for each previous hit from Cosmic Power from any allied Genie this turn, which I don't have any currently. Hat Trick cleanses one harmful effect on target teammate and apply the opposite helpful effect for the same number of remaining turns. And then transfer the harmful effect removed by cleanse with their durations refreshed to a random opponent and then a real firecracker Deal 2,760 damage to target opponent. We've also got the duplicate one where we summon a genie duplicate at a random location after receiving a harmful effect. We've also got Friend Like Me, which restores health and helps to have Aladdin on the team. And just that there. So let's just do... I forget. It's target opponent only. So we can do it on the taunting one back there. And let's uh, have, uh, hmm, let's have Aladdin go again. We can, oh, he's still doing it. Okay, we'll just try to, there we go. We can try to kill this guy in the back. Raja's taking some hits and he is charmed as well. So Jean, or sorry, Jasmine has a big ol' attack here, 3,150 damage and gains evasion. Raja comes out at a random location, and there are his stats there. Shows us the free spirits. Continuous healing. Suitors beware. A lot of damage to target opponents. Jasmine is very helpful. I think I like her the most out of the other three here. Her Raja move is just so great. Because he comes out, he taunts. He's got a good amount of health, so that the enemies have no choice but to... Um, but to attack him and he takes up a lot of the hits mostly I don't like he's not too strong like he's pretty good but um, it's more so that I just want to use him to take the hits and he's very helpful in like towers and stuff and maintaining your health so here's uh, Iago's I guess it's called foul play but it's just Iago. Um, you deal 
some damage target opponent and all flanking opponents. So let's do it real quick. It's basically uh, the magic carpet move that we already had. I guess this heart is not from... I don't know who that's from. I also didn't get a chance to look at the Thief's Cure, which on receiving damage, 5% to 50% chance to restore 292 health one time to this character, which is super helpful too. Um, let's just try to kill this guy. She will assist automatically, which is great. It's cool to have like a guaranteed assist. It's always nice. Uh, maybe we'll save that for the final fight here. And uh, Genie's basic attack is actually pretty good. We just saw it there. Yeah, I wish we could also have Jafar here, but unfortunately we can't. I'm going to save Raja for a second. And let's do the magic carpet in the front. Oh, that didn't kill any of them. We can maybe... Oh, all we had to do is kill Jafar. I didn't realize. Okay. So there we go. Uh, maybe I should try to... Is it possible to quickly go and take their costumes off? I guess not. Let's just go here. My recording stopped when I took off Aladdin's costume. So let's just get back into it here. We've gone through all their moves, so now we can kind of just quickly do how I would like to do this. Um, yeah, we don't get the full idea of an Aladdin team because we don't have... Um, we don't have Jafar here. We do get to bring in Iago, which is nice, but let's uh, kill one of these guys. And then, well, might as well save up the big one then. Oh, maybe I should have had Genie go and heal uh, uh, Raja's charm. I keep forgetting that he is charmed. We might as well hold off on that for now. Um, I doubt that'll... yeah. So we might as well save that too. We could try to get this... oh, he's taunting. Okay, let's just uh, keep going here. And we don't need to three-star these or anything. As long as we win, it's fine. If they get too difficult, we'll bring in someone other than Ariel to kind of get the job done. We got all my street rat strikes done too. I don't think this will kill, but nah, it's close. So we're going to get attacked a lot here. Oh, so we finally get to see the duplicate genie, which is cool. Oh no. Get up there, Ariel. That doesn't really do all that much. If I could get a hero to taunt, that'd be cool, but... So yeah, Genie's uh, guys attack at the same time, at least with the basic attack. Which the alternate Genie oh, can only do the basic attack, so keep that in mind as well. I don't need to kill any of those guys, I can just go straight for it. Oh, well if they're taunting, I do. <laughs> Would've been nice to do that attack on Jafar, but that's fine. Dang it, Genie's not going to be up next, otherwise I would have healed. Well, I can still do it. Oh, it didn't even do it. I wonder if it's not able to do charm, or if it just prefers one or the other, I, I don't know. But this might kill here. Yeah. So it's nice that Aladdin and Jasmine kind of both assist on their bigger attacks, like their concentrated attacks. And it's guaranteed, so um, you're doing a good amount of damage if you're bringing them both in at the same time. It's a really good duo for your team, even if you're not doing an Aladdin team, it's really good to bring in Jasmine and Aladdin so that you can get that extra damage. Let's just uh, have... I don't know. There's, there's really no point to that, I guess. We're just going to bring out Raja right away anyways. I pretty much start every round by bringing out Raja like that. No matter what battle I'm doing, honestly. Let's just... Maybe I should attack the other guy. So yeah, Raja took a lot of hits from me, which is good. Let's... I don't know. 
We could have Jasmine go again to try to get Rajma, Raja again a little faster. Oh, I guess Aladdin is not guaranteed to assist on that one. It just happened to work out the last couple of times. My bad. But on Aladdin's it is guaranteed. And the chance is still better than nothing, right? This might actually be a good idea to use this. Dang. And then... Oh, and Genie has that save thing, which just actually saved Aladdin, which is kind of bad that he almost died and we're only on the first fight here. We should probably just basic attack him. It'd be great to get Raja out again. Don't really need to use that yet. We should probably just get this guy out of here. And then we've got the Comet that we can use right away, which is good. Uh, might be in our best interests to do, do nothing, I don't know. Okay, let's do that. Get Raja back out here. Maybe bring him over here in case there's any aerial attacking. We don't really need to use that. Let's just do the basic attack. It'd be great if someone would have attacked Genie in this time, because I could really use an extra Genie. Let's use this again. We should save that. Save that too. There we go. Final fight here against Jafar. If we can, just go right at him. Oh, they really want uh, Aladdin dead here. Let's do Jasmine. Oh, dang it, he's taunting. So that should get him. Yeah. Dang. That was a lot of damage. It probably would have killed anybody. So, might as well just attack. We could try to. Yeah, so that does work. And it gave the, uh, the snake charm too, which is great. So, that move that Jafar has, he's able to put that timer on us, and we take a bunch of damage once the timer runs out. That's a great hit from um, Ariel there. We've got a bunch of attacks from Genie, and we got it. Yeah, that's great when you can get Genie to do that, but maybe I should bring Genie up to the front then. Maybe move Aladdin to the back. You try that real quick. I don't know where they should go on the lineup here. I've never been that great at figuring that kind of stuff out. So, we're in the final fight here, we can just, I don't know, there's really no reason to do anything over the other. The only reason I brought in Hero was to kind of make more of an em emphasis on the other characters, since Hero really doesn't do all that much on his own, um, but it might end up ruining a run considering he's not doing all that much. So let's, uh, let's get Raja out here. I guess that wasn't very important. She was going to get a turn pretty quick anyways. We can kill this guy in the back. Raja is charmed, but so is Genie, so I'm not going to be able to do much about that. Will he attack? He won't, because he's charmed, which is sad. Alright, so... Genie's very close to death. I, I think he... Okay, never mind. He's dead now. The copy survived. Who's the... The original is gone. So that's not good. And the copy is dead, but at least he took some hits for us. Um, it's not going great, honestly. But I could definitely bring in a lot stronger of a character. Like, I might bring in Gogo if we come in again, just to do a lot of damage overall. We, we didn't even need to heal, that was pointless. Dang it, that didn't even kill. Okay, well they did some pretty weak... I don't need to use that. Let's just basic attack here. And then this. Oh, I probably should have brought out Raja. Uh... I don't need to do that either. 
We'll bring out Raja right now. There's still a chance we could win, but it's going to be a little harder. See, Raja just took some pretty huge hits for us, which is great. Dang it, I would have loved to have done that much damage to Jafar. We could, uh... I don't know. It's kind of pointless to do that, but... Dang it. All my big hits are going at the other people. It's going to be hard to kill a hero, though. So we'll see what that's like. I wonder if he can evade that timer that Jafar gives us. Well, he's already evaded it. I guess if you have evade, you just don't get the timer at all. Which is an interesting concept, I think. So... Let's try to have her go again. Maybe she's got her big attack ready. Yes. So yeah, we're, we're still going to win this. Um, like I said, it would have been hard to kill Hero anyway, so he probably would have just ended up winning it for us. But it is sad that we lost both Genie and Aladdin pretty quick. So there's my trophy. Let me just screenshot that. And we have completed that event. It disappears from the thing, so we're not able to replay it or anything. I think it's really important that we at least do one battle with Jafar and our team. So let's go into the grand campaign here. And they're all at level 7 here. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find. We can keep Hero again, why not? Uh, I don't know if bringing Genie to the front was better or not. They died so quickly it was kind of hard to tell. Jafar, I thought I leveled him. Well, I don't think he's level 7, is he? But he might be 6. There. No, he's 4. Okay, so he's much more under leveled. And then we'll bring in Iago again. Okay, and then this will be the last thing we do. Just one try with Jafar to see what he's like. This was less of a team showcase, especially because there are less of them on the team, but I was more just using this as an excuse to beat that final level. Wait, what? Oh, I meant to bring in Hero, but that's fine. Oh, this is gonna go pretty quick. So we'll just bring this out. They can't even do damage to me. This might kill, yeah, I killed all of them. Okay, here's your far stuff. 515 to target opponent, inflict charm on a target opponent for two turns, which is really good. And then time running out, which also does a bunch of damage when the time runs out. So it's really good to use in like PvP scenarios, I would say. Less so in these uh, pretty basic story chapters. But the charm one is really good, just to show you the animation we can do it. So two turns, which is kind of abnormal, I think. It's typically one turn, so... Getting a character to do your bidding for two turns and also not attack you is, is pretty great. Alright, so that was my showcase of the Aladdin characters here. We'll just take a look at them as we say our goodbyes. Um, let me know if you want more videos like this. Uh, I don't always get characters leveled up in this way, but I wanted to complete that event since it was everlasting and bugging me on that screen so I decided to level them all up and they're each pretty good in their own rights they're helpful for the club expedition as well so that was another reason um, but thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed the Aladdin showcase if you have any other teams like this you want to see I let me know and I might do them as well I'm also gonna be unlocking Mike soon or I've already uploaded that video as well as the Wreck-It Ralph team so look forward to all of that Thank you for watching. I will see you then. Goodbye.